Okay, guys. So welcome back. Uh, I've not made it made it as long as it was the last time. The last time trying to give it a little more speed. <laughs> so um, yeah. So today we'll be going over something a little bit different. Actually, did this video already, but um, yeah, I got some new gear, like, got, like this new camera for the videos. Give it a little bit more vibe, like. No, before the the, the the camera wasn't as important because the main thing was to get the screen shown and just get get the content to you guys. But for like videos like this, I would need the camera and stuff. So I invested in getting a camera and so on. So yeah, because it's fun being you guys teachers, the the teacher for you guys, and I look forward to, I look forward to what you guys can do. You know. Because I won't be in this game for long with the booyah and stuff. I won't always be in it forever. Um, even right now, the amount, the amount of work I, I do in booyah has um, decreased. Because I do more of the international stuff. You know, and uh, yeah. So. It's basically, you know, like usually if I get a request, I would fulfill the request, but. It's not really as before when I would like just make a booyo every day and like send it out and stuff like I don't really do it as much now every now and then I might and then it's been kind of busy for me honestly like this last couple of months like the last seven months so it's been busy since I've relocated to China and stuff so it's been different yeah so um, we're doing something different for today's video for today's video, my goal is to go over my top, no, not the top 10. I would do a top 10 video some other time, but 10 plugins that I recommend for working on Booyah Music, you know, like 10 plugins that I recommend, like I've used them before and stuff. and. They are one of the ones, the, the, some of the plugins that I would say, yeah, they are super, they are suitable in my perspective, you know? As I always tell you guys, it's from my perspective that I'm telling you guys stuff. Because Booyah has no set pattern or anything right now, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's ever changing because, like, the Booyah we had before is not the Booyah that we have now. I mean, um, the, the sound of Booyah before was different and then... With the new generation, like with guys like myself, Savion, Massman, Duns, and Kendall, all these guys, like um, the song of Bui has changed. And then with the new generation, like we guys, like guys like me, and so on, like it has changed a lot more. Um, so, and then with the upgrades of like from FPC plug it from F from MPC and RX7 and stuff to DAWs, like everything has, the game has changed, so the song is still ever changing, like if you listen to the Booyah before and the Booyah of now, like it's a whole different ball game, you know, so even the plugins that we use, the sample choices, like it, you can also use it to identify like some of us, like which is besides our style, like for instance, like a lot of the times if I hear something, a rhythm with a vocal that uses vocal sample as the main element or something, I and I I like I would I would analyze the style as well to guess who it is because I mean I know the, the people around who do most of the booyah works right now in the industry like who does who does most of the beats who does most of the rhythms and it's like the select few of us like so I already know all this stuff so it's not hard to tell but usually as I say like if I hear something for vocal sample I automatically think of Savion most of the times because I know this is something that he likes to do because Savion does a lot of trap music and stuff and this is down his alley you know so um yeah so let's just get into it and as I said the video today will be different so let's get straight into it so the first plugin I would like to say that you guys need to go into is this plugin right here addictive drums you know um, addictive drums is one of its kind like 
emulate em emulating the real the real life drums you know and booyah is a thing like yeah we we do a lot of booyah with like the sampled songs and so on but like booyah has a feel of it that is rock music and i want to say, I, I guess this isn't the right way to say like some of us assume that way you know like I know like the only other person I know that actually think that way along with me is Linz because we've had discussions about this before but we feel like Booyah is like similar to rock music where it, it should utilize live drums you know because when you get a live Booyah song opposed to the record in Booyah song it's like a whole different ball game so probably if we did like Booyah like um, rock music and so on it might have a different it, it would have a different aspect you know but yeah so addictive drums is one of the plugins that would be very good for that and in addictive drums you actually have like a select set like you, you can change your drum sounds you can change your snare you can change your kick you can modify them and do all this kind of stuff you know so addictive drums is definitely one of those up there in the drums that i would say is suitable for buyo i've used it myself Mm. So, yeah, you guys should definitely try it out. Then next in line would be this plugin right here, the Expand. And as you guys can see from my videos, in the plugins that I use a lot, Expand is one of them. I specifically like the lead tones in the Expand and the pads and the strings. Like if I don't go for like a realistic string, it would probably be from like my contact plugin um, libraries because these are the only place you actually, well, I mean there's one others, there's a couple others, but contact is where you get like the real song in like um, realistic string songs. So if I don't go into there for that, like, like what I did for like um, Angels in the Sky from Signal Band and Shelly. This song, I actually went into contact and pulled out the live string songs to make the whole kind of dynastic and the feel of the, that that track because that track was just a whole different ball game of Booyah, you know? So I actually went into contact for that and one, two times for a couple other stuff. So um, you go in there, there's a lot of very nice lead tones. Um, hard tones, soft tones, like this is why I usually go whenever I look for my 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 tones, like on a on a on a normal day. Oh, yeah. Next up would be ample bass. If we're talking bass, and if any one of you guys who's been here from day one with me, from video one, you guys have seen this multiple times. The only times you might not have seen it is when I'm doing like just like a reading by itself. But anyhow, I go into like an instrumental track, like a complete, complete, complete backing track. It would be ample bass. This is my bass. This is my go-to. And specifically, what I like to do, I would bypass all the instruments, all the plugins, all the internal processing. Like you see, like right here, you have like where you see like drop, you have different presets. And then you have like the different options like the the amplifier you can you can do your eq your room reverb and so on you can do all this but i like to get this out of the way just get the dry song out of there and then i would do my processing directly in my mixer track so i just want like the dry bass song and as you guys know like my bass song that's real, as realistic as it could be um i program my bass myself um this has actually caused a, <laughs> caused a lot of people to think that i Ask me if I play bass, or if I get someone who plays bass to record my record my bass lines for my tracks. But no, I just program them in myself using Apple Bass and get that live song going out, you know. So Apple, Apple, just Apple on a whole Apple songs. These guys are fantastic. Like this isn't the, the only bass they have. They have like two other bass tracks. They have the In Yang In Hang bass. Um, Actually, I think Ample guys are actually from China, so yeah. So they have this bass, they have the Ying Yang bass, um, which is, I think, what well, is like one of a top bass in China, or something like that. And then they also have like the the jazz bass, the J bass. So yeah, they have options. 
Next up would be huh, your very own Flex. Like you guys know, I don't use Studio plugins like this. Like very, very limited the use of Studio of stock plugins in the FL Studio. But Flex is one of a kind. Flex is up there, man. Yeah, I don't have much to say about Flex. Just you can use Flex. I've used it in Bujo. <laughs> then. The next one would be M1, COG M1. And actually, COG M1 is one of the, the keyboards that has been an integral part in Wii music, like, like realistically, as in, it's been part of Wii music's journey on a whole, like, a lot of people had, like, COG, COG stuff, uh, COG M1 was one of the stuff that was very utilized, and um, when I got into Buyo, I had the band with Ajmal and so on, we had our own band and the, one of the instruments that we used to like was a Korg M1 and was it a Korg M1? I think it was, yeah, but it was a Korg and uh, Ajmal father is one of, one of the guys who was part of the creation of Buyo, so this keyboard has history, you know, and this keyboard was one of the, one of the, one of the keyboards that made the song of Buyo, what it is. Um, there's a lot of very good songs in there, but I specifically use the, the M1 for my piano. Like, anyhow, I pull out the M1 and pull it out the piano, I go in there for my piano. Uh, you could pull out, pull it out from the expand and stuff, but I personally prefer the, the piano from the M1. It has an actually realistic, like, booyah piano song, like, not like this thin kind of stuff, like, it has weight and everything to it. Then the next one would be Purity. Not much to be said about Purity. I've used it multiple times. I won't call it something that I use very often right now. Since I am exploring a lot more, like going into more hybrid stuff, like trying to get out of that generic structure and the generic song that the Booyah currently has. I'm trying to go out of that and get some more stuff out of the way, you know? So, but yeah, Purity is also one of those that I used a lot back back then. As I said, I don't use it as often because I explore more into different regions. But yeah. Next up would be Modo Bass. Um, aside from the Ample Bass, I would say Modo Bass is the next best thing that I've heard in regards to Buyo. Um, people have used Modo Bass in Buyo before, not just myself. Other top producers have used Modo Bass, and I mean, Buyo wise. So yeah, other producers in the industry have used Modo Bass. And the thing with Modo Bass that isn't like probably some would say they prefer Modo over over my choice of Ample Bass. I know why I like my Ample Bass. The Modo Bass has different options, like Ample Bass is just like, once you load the plugin, that's it. You just have the presets, but Ample Bass has a really different bass, like this, they have this flame bass, they have like all other types of basses, you can select the bass types you want. You can also select the strings, and you have all the different options here. I just honestly prefer my Ample songs, but if I had to go with anything else but Ample, it would be Modo. Then, let's get into one more drum plugin, and that would be the FPC. <laughs> I don't know guys, I'm not telling you guys to just pull up an FPC drum kit from FL, like the stock plugin, and just like be like, yeah, this guy said it sounds good, it sounds good. No. Um, the reason I like F FPC is because of its structure. Like all the AW have their built-in plugins, and they work very well with the function of the of the of the of the DAW and FPC is Buyo's very own and the reason why I like it is because I can I load my samples into there my drum samples into there and I can see it all in the piano roll which is a lot easier to maneuver around instead of seeing like C sharp and D sharp and all this kind of stuff. Um, Ableton has its own which is the Ableton drum rack. Cubase also has its own which is the Proof Agents and so on and Whenever I use these respective these respective DAWs, because um, as you guys know, I use like multiple DAWs: Cubase, Ableton, FL Studio. I use these three 
currently all at the same time it depends on what i'm doing if i'm mixing and mastering i usually go into cube into cubase if i'm doing international pop music and stuff k-pop j-pop c-pop i usually use ableton sometimes i go with my cubase to do a production but i more or less go into the cubase whenever i need to do like mix and master or if i'm comp composing some song track cinematic stuff and fs today is just for booyah honestly yeah it's just for booyah um so when i get into this booyah thing i use like this drum rack and then when i go into ableton i do sometimes do booyah in ableton so whenever i go into ableton i use the drum rack from it from ableton um probably like sometime in the near future i will do a video of like some booyah song that's soon to come and it was created in ableton so um yeah I, I won't say what it is i won't say from who it is but when you guys hear it i think you guys will be able to tell and then in the descriptions obviously it will be it will be right there in your face but i will do a video for that when it comes out eventually so yeah i actually use the ableton drum rack which was the only thing that i well i wouldn't say it's the only thing to get the one from cubis but you know like yeah just for the sake of having the visuals of the kick the snare everything right there in your face it's a lot more convenient so I would say you can use FPC if you pull it in like drum samples. You can use FPC and it helps a lot, you know. You can also like route, route them in to like the different plugin mixer tracks and so on. You just need to know how to do it. You can pan them everything right there inside the DAW. Okay, so next. In the case of guitars, whenever I go for guitars, uh, getting the realistic sound with guitars is kind of difficult programming anything you can do it but you know like you need the, pr the right plugins to make it sound realistic and you need the, the proper skill set and you need to have a, an idea of how guitar is played or how it works which I really honestly don't so like I see guys do stuff with guitar plugins and so on and I'm like damn this is authentic guitar playing and I can't do it yet and I don't have the time to study it but whenever I go like I try and get like a guitar song or even like something like just close to a nice little strum, I would usually fall onto like the real strat because it doesn't use a lot of CPU power like my other guitar plugins from Ampu, which I would more or less use for pop and stuff because I want that actual realistic song that they have like full time as much as possible. But real strat is the next closest thing I would see to like getting a realistic guitar song and then I'll do like my additional processing and so on. So that's what I would go for for, for like guitar if I need any guitar. And then the last thing would be this boy right here, which is the Triton, the Cog Triton. Like Cog has been an integral part of Buyo for some reason. And yeah, like this boy, we had one of these. We had a Triton back in the days with my with my band with Archmal as well. And this boy was heavy. This boy was heavy and big. The songs were so rich that despite the fact that it was heavy and it had like this heavy suitcase this heavy keyboard case with it as well it was like twice it was like twice the weight Hon no honestly the case was what had the weight not even the keyboard the case was what had the weight this is it was it was it had so much protection that the case was heavy and we would carry that to to the events like we had like the m1 and another alternative but we just we just couldn't live down the Triton because it was so sweet sounding, you know? Uh, you can get a lot of the good songs in the Triton, piano and everything as well. Um, the brass, everything, like, it's right there in the Triton, like... I mean, before they did not have a plugin for the Triton. Um, it was only, like, not long ago that they actually had this, this plugin introduced. So, it hasn't become, like... Main, like a mainstream go to plugin yet since it wasn't there at the time, but definitely, like, I can see Triton being one of the most heavily used in this real game because, like, on the realistic standpoint, in real life, it it is very integral for Buyo. So, guys, um, this was basically it like 10 plugins that I recommend for Buyo and yeah like there's a lot you can do a lot you should do um i would not buy i would not call them my top 10 as i said uh some of them i don't use as often and i'm not even sure if i got if i've got <laughs> wait yeah i should have a top 10 but 
probably like some of these plugins will not be in my top 10. I'll probably put something else there. Uh, in case of instrumental plugins, yeah. Then there's still like the effects plugins and so on. But this is just like the top, like this is just like 10 instrument plugins that I recommend for getting into Wii like using into Wii like you can't go wrong with this thing, you know? But yeah, so this is what it is. Um, I'm looking to do some more different stuff, like, uh, but we'll see as it comes, we'll see as it comes. So yeah guys, um, I would say get out there, do what you gotta do, make good content. Um, as I said, I'm probably not always the most free guy, but if you guys got something, uh, to send it across, I could have a listen, you could drop me a message in Instagram or email, um, probably I might not respond one time because like, you know, like, the way it is right now, it's like, you gotta put on the VPN to get on the Instagram, and then sometimes I probably don't even have the time, you know, <sighs> but guys, I look forward to the time we will we'll have it together now and the time we will continue to have together i will be doing not just buyo i will do other stuff but for now i realize like a lot of people are looking at the buyo content buyo is expanding it's going places and yeah anyways guys it's like yeah <laughs>